everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a floral bouquet, but I'll also show you the step-by-step -step process of how I mix my paint and what colors I'm going to use. Yeah. <laughs> so let's jump right in. Okay, so today's tutorial is going to be a little bit different. Um, this time I'm going to show you how I actually mix my colors on my palette. My palette is usually never this clean. I tend to reuse colors after I've put them down and mixed them before, but for today's purpose, I have cleaned them off. Um, but today I'm gonna to be showing you what colors I'm using and how I mix them to create kind of a purple bouquet. Okay, so the colors that I'm using, I will just show you quickly. They're all Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors. So I have mauve, I hope that's how you say it. darker purple, sap green, intense green, this is my favorite green, hooker's green dark, and last but not least, indigo. So those are the colors that I'm going to be using. These are where I have put them in my palette. Um, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, the way I set up my palette is I squeeze the colors into my palette and I leave them to dry overnight. This allows them to harden and they last a lot longer this way because these can get a little bit pricey. Some places they're like $6.99, so you don't want to be wasting it by using it wet, in my opinion. Um, so I allow them to harden and that way they last a long time. So these are kind of where the colors are set. I'm gonna put them to the side and I'm gonna show you how I mix my colors. So I have my water here and I'm just gonna set up my palette. Usually when I'm painting, I just kind of go for it and I mix as I go. But for today's purpose, I'll just show you how I do that. So um, I just create different spaces on my palette for these colors. So these are all dry right now. So I'm just wetting them and I'm just throwing them on my palette. Also this way it allows for me to get lighter washes of them if I need to. Um, this purple here. So I'm using a lot of water pick up these colors like that um, I'm gonna create some other greens here so I'm gonna take the colors I'll really be mixing are the greens so I'm just gonna put some green there and I'm gonna create different shades of green by mixing. So here's the intense green I'll put here. And I'm gonna add actually some purple to that one, the darker purple. And then I just go back in. Yes, I had purple on my paintbrush already when I went back in there, but unless I find it's a yellow paint, you don't really wanna put this brush into a yellow paint, then it will kind of muck up that one, but the purple and the green don't really make too much of a difference. So that's kind of a really nice tealy green almost. Not teal, but it's like an emeraldy dark green. Um, then I'm going to have some sap green over here, which I really like. I think I might just keep that as is, maybe add a bit of dark like that. And actually to that other dark green here, I'm gonna add a little bit of indigo. Like that. And just, this is one of my favorite parts of um, painting is mixing the colors to create different colors, obviously which is what I'm doing. Um, I wonder if I want another kind of green. 
Hmm. Well, you know what? We'll see it as we go along. Okay, so I kind of have my palette set up. Um, like I said, I usually just do it as I go along, but that's how I mix my colors. And I'm going to start painting. So the, the paper that I'm using is Arches watercolor paper, which is my favorite watercolor paper. Um, it just is the best quality I find for the type of watercolor I like to do. So to start, I am going to do a very light wash of this mauve. So I already have my mauve here. I'm just gonna wet my brush. I'm gonna, oops, sorry, wet my brush. Just run it against the side and just pick up a little bit of the color, okay? I don't wanna get a lot of it and I might even dump it again just because I really want a light wash of this color. So I'm gonna do a petal here. Another petal here. Now I want it this light where you can barely see. Okay, so that just requires having more water on your brush than paint. Three petals, little one, and then kind of like a C shape here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into my mauve color with the darker pigment, which is more paint than you used the last time, and just touch kind of where the middle is. And then you can even go directly into the paint so it's even darker, and then touch just around the edges, like that. Okay, and then when it dries, if you have better quality paper, it will dry nicely. Um, you'll get a really nice blend. If you are having a hard time with that, it might be your paper quality, um, but just try and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna do another one of those flowers. So I'm just washing off my brush because I want a light wash of it. So my brush is clean. I'm gonna put it back in here. There's quite a bit of water on it, not too much where it's dripping, but it's wet. And I'm gonna do another one of those flowers, but facing this direction. It might help too if you turn your paper. That's okay if it runs into the other color. There was a bit too much water there, which is why I did that, but that's okay. Just kind of move it around, or if you find you have too much water, you can always just gently soak it up by touching it just a bit with a paper towel. I'm gonna go back in. Touch the edges. And then I'm gonna go directly back into my paint so I can get a darker shade of it. Just touch like that. So there's those two flowers. And now I'm gonna do a darker purple rose. So I'm gonna take this color, but I'm also gonna do a light wash. So I washed off my brush and I have mostly water on it. Sorry if you can't see my water. I'm just running against the side, pick up a bit. And I'm gonna start by doing like a squiggly circle with the tip of my brush, like that. And then I'm gonna do thicker strokes around. And then I think it's nice if you kind of touch the other flowers. Make sure it's not too wet so the water doesn't like run into it, but it's slightly wet your brush. Um, and then the, you can get a nice blend from one flower to the next, I think, which looks nice. So it's a really light wash. And now you're gonna go back in like we did with the other flowers touch kind of more around the middle, maybe a bit of the other petals, like that. Not too much, I really like a, a light flower. And then go back in from directly into the paint where the middle is, so you get that nice dark 
blend. There you go. And it will dry quite nicely. I'm actually just gonna drag some of it out. Okay. I'm just adding more petals. Just kind of go with the flow and see what you like. <clears throat> okay, so there are my flowers, and now I'm gonna incorporate the leaves. So I don't really have a method of how I put them on there. I just kind of fill up the space. I might want a bit more flower right here, so like just little buds, but I'll do that after. Um, so I'm just gonna take one of the greens and I might even touch part of the flower so it bleeds into it, which I really like that effect. You don't have to do that if you don't feel comfortable. And just kind of place them around evenly. Okay, I'm gonna move my water out of the way so I can see better. <laughs> Now you'll get these nice color bleeds if your paper is still wet. So hopefully your flowers are still wet if you do that. Otherwise it will just go on top as a layer, which isn't awful, but you just won't get the same effect. Um, I'm actually gonna do a couple, uh, I am gonna do some purple buds. So I'm just gonna take this color. I'm gonna just do like, just to balance out the color a bit. That, and I might go back in with a darker purple, like that. And then if you have a smaller brush and you prefer to do it with a smaller brush, you can take a, um, your small brush to do a stem. I'm just gonna use the tip of my big brush. Just kind of gently touch it, not too much. Make sure you don't have a lot of water on your brush or it will overpower those little buds. Well, just like that. Just to give another little bit of color there. Okay, and then continue with your leaves. So now I'm using a different green. Now, you might notice that you might have to mix more paint as you go along. So like this is not gonna last me to the rest of the bouquet. So I'm just gonna keep, um, creating more. Sometimes it changes color a bit, which I think is fine. That time I used a different purple, but that's okay. And it creates a different leaf color, which I like. And you can do different um, size leaves too. Don't feel like you have to do all the same. You know, this is really your painting, however you want it to go. See, I didn't want it to touch the flower right there, so I'm just gonna quickly pick up that color. Now if it's dry, or if it's still wet, you can do that. There's still a bit more on the purple that I don't want it touching, because the purple's already wet, it's not gonna blend, so it's not gonna work the way I want it to. Also, what you might notice here is um, this little part. So this green leaf here wasn't completely dry, but it wasn't completely wet. So when I went over top with this darker leaf, it kind of made this weird pattern, which sometimes is fine. Um, right now, I'm not a fan of it. So to fix this, I'm just gonna wash off my brush, take that other green, and I'm just gonna go over top of it again and then blend it together. So you don't get that weird pattern. Or you can keep it too, which I think is fine. 
But if that happens, you can just go back over it again. Okay, I'm gonna do some green here, but I think I might mix a bit of the darker green just to, so it's not too, too bright. But I actually might mix a bit of purple to kind of give it a, a brownish tinge. That makes sense. So it's not as limey green. I'll do some. And now I think I'm just gonna take some pure indigo and just add a bit more of the smaller leaves just to give it that little pop of darkness. Because, whoa, um, the middle of these flowers is gonna be indigo, so I think it will tie in nicely. Just try and spread them around evenly ish to give a little bit of color in the same place. And I'm just using the shape of my brush to create these tiny little stems and leaves. Okay, so now. I've done my leaves. Um, I'm gonna go back into the middle. I just wanna make sure it's dry because otherwise it might mess it up. But just to be safe, I'm gonna use my heat tool, this one, to just dry the middles just before I add the indigo color. If you feel more comfortable with a smaller brush for um, smaller leaves and details, um, feel free to use it. I just try and use the tip just so I don't have to keep going back and forth to different brushes, but I do use a small brush too sometimes. Okay, so I'm just going right into my indigo. And I'm just gonna kind of create an oval, a rough oval, and then just do some dots around. These are kind of like anemone flowers. Just rough, like that. Easy peasy. And there is your purple flower bouquet. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys, bye.